Okay, 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 everybody. Guess who it is. Go on. Guess. Yes, you can. Yes, you know. Of course you know. Um, you know because my name is probably down there somewhere on the left-hand side of the screen, which is my channel name, and on to the right-hand side of it, there's that subscribe button, which you probably need to click. Um, definitely, definitely need to click the subscribe button because it's there. It's, it's got this, it's, you know, it changes colour if you click on it. Yes, it, it does. Yeah, it actually changes colour. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, and of course, uh, rate, comment, share, and all that kind of stuff too. Because that's what we do when we're online, isn't it? Your three color tarot reading coming right up for you. So, what have we got? Number one, number two, number three. Oh. Okay, well, what story could I give you as, re as a result of this? Because that's what we do. That's what we tarot readers do. I've been doing this for 15 years full-time professionally. Did my first psychic fair when I was 19. Um, so, quite long-standing um, interest in all this weird and wonderful fun stuff. But we've got a bit of a mixed bag here, haven't we? Your first card was the Princess of Cups. We've had that before recently. I've said a little bit about that. Uh, femininity, water, gentleness, creativity, trying to see things differently, trying to move away from aggression into a time of understanding. We've got a little fish symbol there, and that makes me think immediately of the whole thing about moving from the Piscean Age to the Aquarian Age, you know, that kind of like stuff going on. Obviously, the Aquarian Age hasn't happened got the war in Ukraine, we got all this stuff going on in the world, and we just come out of a pan or coming coming out of a pandemic. So there's still problems, but there's just this feeling of aspiring to move into a better world in your life as a result of you taking the right levels of control and efficiency and effectiveness to bring about something good. A lot of my tarot readings are about you doing well. Haven't you noticed that? You doing better. Because I think that there's like lots of little stepping stones we go through in life. Some stepping stones are good, some are bad. It's up to you to choose which one is the next one for you. All right? When you go into the library once a week, like I do, every week I go, I go into the library. And I pick up a different book every single time to see if it inspires me. And sometimes I get an inspiration to start delving deeper into something. And sometimes I decide that the thing I'm delving deeper into has run its course and I've got to move on to another thing, still with the gratitude that I've gone through that course of self-education, if that makes any sense. So where is your level of self-education now? What are you going to learn in order to bring your own life closer to a kind of like a um, peaceful, relaxed, less stressed, less worried, less anxious, um, Aquarian age in your own right? What are you doing for that? Okay? What are you reading? What are you learning? What are you putting into practice? What are you putting to the test so that you start getting to where you want to go? The Empress is traditionally a god symbol, isn't it? Uh, if you look at the Night Sun tarot pack, the Emperor and the Empress are both images of Jesus, strangely enough. One is male, one is female, obviously, but they're both images of Jesus. Typically in the medieval tarot, the Empress would have been the symbol of Mary, just as the High Priestess was a symbol of the Holy Spirit, because Christianity has given an awful lot of symbolism to the tarot, which naughty heretics like me tend to use. Don't let anybody know. It's just me and doing my thing, you know. Anyway. So that could be to do with, yes, balance, balance, balance. It always comes out in tarot, isn't it? But also, what is the next path of understanding you're trying to develop for yourself? What are you looking into next that's going to help you to have more in terms of stability and security and happiness? That's the kind of message associated with that, which overlaps with the message from the Princess of Cups because the two energies are working together in today's reading to create that kind of outcome. Finally, and this is why I think it's interesting because... Your Knight of Discs is someone on a mission, taking a break. The horse is munching on the, on the forest, greeny grass, uh, but he seems to be standing up tall. He's got his helmet open. He's looking out to somewhere distant. His shield is giving off light as if it's a signal. I'm here. Okay? I'm here. I'm doing something. I'm taking a break, but I know where I'm going to go. 
but also practical as well. Disc symbols or earth symbols or coin symbols are often associated with the world of commerce and money and the material and all that kind of stuff. But it's not specifically just about money, is it? That's why it's discs and not coins, maybe. In this deck anyway. But it is to do with something practical. So what are you on the search for? What is your mission now? What are you going to do to get there? And how can you overcome the negativity within your own mind, which is pushing you away from your goal? Okay, you know that song, always believe in your goal. Not necessarily a, a useful bit of advice if your goal is unobtainable or is wrong for you. So I would say always be thinking through your goals, being mindful as to what they are, but also working out what is appropriate and practical and is doable. Just something to think about. Like, favorite, subscribe, rate, share, and all that jazz. And I will see you for the next delightful video coming quite shortly. Bye for now.